Hello everybody, this is Rolo with Winter Bros. In this video segment, we're going to show you how to use shaders in your DAS Studio scenes and animations real quick and easy. You can see here we've already started a scene with the Genesis 2 female. And we're going to use her with uh, the tops and the short to demonstrate some how to use shaders. You'll find your shaders uh, under the My DAS 3D library. And if you scroll down to the section, the folder titled Shaders, that's where you'll find most of them. You might be other uh, similar folder names, and they might apply to what you're working on. Uh, but this is where we're going to start. Uh, we're going to go here to these DLD stone shaders that we purchased and installed. And we're going to go ahead into the Polished. And the example we're going to show you is to be using this avocado sh uh, shader here. Well, you can see up here in the Scene tab, we do have the uh, Genesis 2 Female uh, selected. So we're going to go ahead and double click this uh, shader here, the avocado, to see what happens. And it doesn't look like anything at all happened to her. So, and the reason for that is uh, when you're going to apply a shader to a figure or prop in your scene, you actually have to uh, select that uh, item in the scene tab and then go over to the services tab and select it over there as well. Because the services is where the actual shader is taking uh, effect. So we've got Genesis 2 Female here selected, so now we'll go back. Now we'll double click the avocado again to show you what happens. You can see now it is thinking. It's taking a moment. It's applying the shader actually to the Genesis 2 Female. Uh, it takes a little more time, depends how fast your system is. And you can see now that she's turned into this gray colored figure now, instead of uh, the natural skin color she had before. Uh, the reason you don't really see the avocado effect is because most shaders don't show until they're actually rendered. So what we'll do is we'll go, we already had to set up for the 3D Light rendering engine. We'll just go ahead and run a render real quick on it and show you how it's going to look. The, the render is completed here and you can see now if we slide this aside you can see we've got this avocado shader applied now to the Genesis 2 female. So that was using the 3D Light uh, rendering engine. Uh, just so you know, we'll go ahead and go here to the render settings. Uh, there's different lighting and different shaders can be made for the uh, different types of rendering engine. And just to demonstrate that, we're going to go ahead and show you how it's going to look if we use the uh, iRay rendering engine to do the same render uh, with that shader applied to her. And we'll go ahead and open that up really quick. Uh, we we stopped the render to save a little time here, but you can see that uh, with the iRay rendering engine, she's got this gray shade to her, and she's really not got that avocado look like she did with the 3D light rendering engine. We'll close this out real quick. And that's because that uh, different shaders and different lighting can be made for the different rendering engines and how they treat it. So if you want, uh, if you're a partial to the iRay rendering engine, make sure you use shaders for that. If you like the 3D light uh, rendering engine, then use the shaders designed for that. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you a couple more quick things. Uh, when you, we'll go, we'll, we'll select the uh, the top or the, we'll select the shorts, and the scene tab, and we'll go over here to the surfaces. And for the shorts, we'll show you that you don't have to apply the shader to the whole prop. You can just uh, apply it to certain parts of it. So we're going to, in surface tab here, we're just going to select the cloth itself and leave the bands and the stripes alone and the trim. And then we'll go back over here and we'll choose a different color shader. Uh, let's take this nice looking grape. Uh, I just, yeah, we'll go ahead and double click that. And you can see that the shorts now turn that grayish color. And if we run a quick render, oh, excuse me, let me cancel that. We do need to uh, change back to the 3D light rendering tool. Okay, and there it is. All right, let's go ahead and run that render really quick, and then we'll show you what it looks like. And you can see here that the the bands and the trimming of the shorts stayed the same. However, the cloth in there has changed to what we selected over here, the grape shader. So you don't have to use the shader, like I said, on the whole prop. You can just use it on portions of the prop. Um, just be sure that you select it in the scene tab and go over and select uh, the portions in the surfaces tab that you want to actually apply the shader to um, and make sure that the shaders that you use match the uh, rendering engine you want to. Have a good day!